Hey, y'all. Hope you're having a good weekend. I'm in the middle of a pretty tense situation. My mom, who's 80, broke her hip. And, uh, uh, she had to go to the hospital and have a hip operation. And, uh, so we've been taking care of in the hospital, and then one night, I had a show, and I couldn't get back to the hospital until late. And I kind of learned from mom a long time ago, <laughs> even though everyone was recommending to her that at the hospital she's going to have to go to a, uh, a brief rehabilitation center to get her you know, physical therapy and everything. So uh, mom kind of taught me a long time ago. She kind of, the world says one thing and she kind of, gives the world her finger, so her finger in this particular situation was in the middle of the night, she convinced some young doctor that she's going to sign her release papers that they're taking her home, which meant the only one around, because dad at 82 cannot lift her, so I had to move a few shows and I'm here taking care of mom, happily doing it. It's a little bit intense, uh, a lot of medication, and having to lift and shower and change your mom's diapers, is, you know, and uh, so I'm just, uh, doing a lot of reflecting, and, um, I was always raised a family man and uh, so I told mom she was kind of like you know we couldn't get any full-time care to stay with her so mom kind of realized with her finger to the world she didn't have the whole thing planned out Meaning the only one to left to wipe her ass was me. <laughs> and she was kind of uncomfortable with that, but I said, listen, mom, you wiped my ass when I was young. So now I have the privilege of wiping your ass. And it's quite a quite a beautiful experience. And uh, bless you all. They should never need it, but if they do, you should be the one wiping your mama's ass. <laughs> anyway, it takes you to a different place in life, a different vision, a different perspective, and so I'm working on a new tuning and just sending you all out good vibes and try to send you some healing music for a world that is trying to smoke screen us from Remembering to stay in the zone of love, the zone of peace, the zone of joy. Being present, awake in the moment. When all those emotional attacks come to us with whatever deep grooves of past generations and generations and generations that have been passed down in our blood and DNA. Everyone with their own deep groove that's hard to get out is the first easy option that the brain sends down to you in challenging situations, suggesting this is might, this just might be the quick fix you need 
And when it's many generations having that in your DNA, in your blood, as humans, our initial instincts of the mind are to jump on that. But we can answer with higher consciousness to be aware of that desire, whatever it might be, whether it's anger, food, drinking, drugs, sex, whatever it might be, sadness. We can be aware of that emotion, aware of the mind and what it's trying to do, but then we can build a moat. We can build a gap slowly by observing the emotion Standing our ground, not repressing it, but remembering that it hasn't fixed anything for us in the past. And it is hard to get out of that deep groove of the past that is in our genes, in our blood. It might be mentally from society drilled into us, whatever we think we might need but is really not the solution but if one time we can start to just have the strength to have patience just wait a bit let it peak take it to the breaking point stare it down and then that energy that comes from the gap between consciousness and the mind that's a very powerful energy that has to go somewhere. That's what makes us dynamic. That's what makes us above time. That's what makes us going into the unknown space of being which can truly set us free. So that's what I'm thinking of here as I'm going to try to play this new instrumental. Love you all. Thank you for your support. Thank you for taking the journey. I guess you all noticed that my 17-year-old took the scissors and made a new look for Lazy Lloyd. There's a long story behind it, a funny story. And I love her so much, so I didn't get too mad, but it took a little getting used to, but you know, I've been teaching for a long time and saying it's, don't get attached to any of the physical and any of the external things, and we all have to like our external appearances, but the truth is we are all beyond that and something much deeper. So I put my hair inside my heart and I'm ready to make a new start.
it, you'll you heard it here this Saturday. August something, because I have not slept in a few days doing the night shift. And explaining the deep depths of soul that one can reach after cleaning your mom's ass. Hehehehe. <laughs>